As you know, I regard the acquisition of nuclear-powered submarines as paramount to a national security, and I think it's been terrific that it's been dealt with uh, via bipartisan support. But as all good and well to pat ourselves on the back and have these submarines, there's a lot needed to sustain them once they're in the water. In particular, the need to overhaul our education and training practices in order to get the defence workforce we need. Joining me now, visiting fellow at the ANU's National Security College, William Stoltz, who has written about this today brilliantly in the paper. Um, William, thank you for your time. You say in order to be able to, to properly so much, sustain this fleet once it's operational, we're really going to have to lift our game educationally. Take us through what needs to happen. That's right. And it's not just the AUKUS initiative. You know, we're going to be growing the size of our defence force by about 18,500 people. But in addition to that, we're also on the process of wanting to build our cyber security workforce by about 2,000 people and to add an extra 3,000 public servants as well to the national security community. And that's so that's strategic policy experts, it's analysts, it's fighter jet pilots, it's submariners. It's, it's a full spectrum of the national security workforce that we're seeking to grow. And so to undertake that as a national initiative, we really need to scrutinise our education system. And unfortunately, my view is that we haven't scrutinised the state of our education system as thoroughly as we need to. When you look at national and international rankings on literacy and numeracy, mm -hmm. Australia just isn't up there given, given the wealth of our, our country. And so we need to look at how we reform industrial relations around teaching to get more teachers, to get a more uh, diversity of skill sets into our teaching cohort. Uh, and we also need to adjust how we teach as well in a um, thoroughly technologically driven digital environment. All right, let, let me just pick up two things I think are interesting for my readers from your column today. That even at year 12 level, the, 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 we're talking about here the highest maths you can do, only 10%, below 10% of uh, Australian students do that level of maths. That's critical to understanding nuclear technology. And two, you make the case that France has got about 150 qualified PhD level physicists, nuclear physicists coming out of universities every year. 50 or so of that 150 go on to become uh, people that work in the submariner area. Well, we only produce three. France, 150, we produce three. Give us your take on both of those issues. Yeah, it's a pretty harrowing figure when you compare what France is producing for its entire nuclear industry. So this is uh, its nuclear weapons program, its nuclear propelled submarines and its domestic energy production. And it's really because they have all those industries together that they're able to um, supercharge and, and uh, build such a large nuclear physics workforce. We obviously don't need that many because we're not going to be building the reactors here. But that said, uh, on these submarines, you still need qualified nuclear physicists uh, because they still have to care for and, and maintain and operate the reactor. Uh, so this is a significant challenge for Australian education system in the field of nuclear physics to build up uh, the workforce we require. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the, the STEM, uh, STEM enrolment at schools. That's where we need to be focusing because the AUKUS initiative is, is essentially a century-long endeavour that we're undertaking. So it's not really just about what's happening at our universities, it's about what's happening in our primary schools right now that we need to address. So to yes. get those numbers up, you know, yes, we sir. need to focus on adjusting how people are learning. Thank you, William. I have to leave it there, but you're absolutely right. We've got to get into it now. Thank you for your time.